All right, guys, this is the start of week three, and this is spring break for me, so I'm gonna start trying to hit it pretty hard and see if we can find a bunch of sheds throughout spring break. And I've already found a few today, so we're gonna keep it rolling and just see how the rest of this spring break goes. We're, we haven't really hit most of our properties yet. So we still got a lot of luck. I'd say that we're probably around like 20 some right now, around there. But yeah, I, I found 10, somewhere around 10 this year, probably a little bit more, but I've been doing pretty good. I've been walking a lot. So we're gonna get this week three on the road and we'll see what we can find. Let's get out there and find some sheds. Hey guys. It is week three of shed hunting and just came across my first shed of the day. And it's got some weird genetics. I don't think I could have seen this deer before. It's a little guy, but I mean, if you count that other little point right there, then that's six on one side. But there's something about this spot. I found like eight in here last year or something like that in this little bedding area. But, Hopefully we can do the same exact thing again this year. But number one on the day. And it's little, but it's got some cool genetics. Oh, that's a, that's a cool deer. Look at that. Little kicker there. He's got some weird stuff going on there, but that's a cool deer. And we're gonna keep going at it. So we'll see you guys. I'm gonna find the next shed. All right, guys, I got a pretty decent one here. So I was walking up this way because I thought I saw something up there and I don't think it wasn't anything. So I turned back down and there's one sitting right there. I don't know how I didn't see that coming up, but it blended, blends in real well. It's actually a pretty nice one though. It's kind of like the one I found a couple days ago. But I'm gonna pick up one. That's a, that's a good antler right there. I saw a four point. You got some tall tines. Another one from this year though. That's awesome. We're gonna keep on going and hopefully we can knock one of these deer that I found up. Hey guys, I think I got my first set of the year. And it's to my last four point that I just found. I just saw a bunch of deer run out of here. And it looks like they've been bedding in here, but oh yeah, that's a set. Look at this. This is the one I just found. But there you go. And there's a new guy. And I would say that that's a set. So this place that I've shed hunted has just been so good. I found like eight here last year, and like. I don't know 70 yards and I've already found three this year so we're just gonna keep getting at it and see if we can find me more Let's keep making this day get better so guys I have just found another antler and this is just starting to be like last year I don't I don't get this spot I don't know why it's so good because the first year we looked here we saw nothing and we got another deer 
or another antler, another freshie. But look at the stack over there. We got three over there, and we're gonna add another one to the thing, or to the pile, and another deer that we need to match up. We got two deer on the same side, or two antlers on the same side, and a set. So we're just gonna keep get it, keep it rolling. There we go, nice antler. Good dad to the pile. So we're gonna keep rolling. Got two antlers to match up, and let's do this. We uh, we're hunting a new farm. Dylan's doing pretty good. He's already got two, but so far, first casualty a winner on this farm. He's a pretty good buck. Just I don't know if he got shot and nobody found him because he's in a creek or uh, or what, but. You hate to see this. So, well, we'll keep moving. Nice nine pointer. <laughs> right beside each other. That doesn't get any close. I mean, they are right beside each other. Let's, Let's go. Nicely done. Smaller, but a good one. You got yourself a your five pointer. That's a decent one. Yeah. It's a nice start of the day, though. Yeah. What's that like? Five minutes in? Yeah. We'll, we'll go walk up the rest of this thing. I've always found one, at least one set here. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, it is. Let's go. Good job. Hey guys, I was just walking down this trail right here, and I mean it's a cow trail, but you can see the deer have been following it, and I got a great antler. I looked up right to my left. I think you guys can see it up there. I'll keep going. Up. You guys can see it a little bit now, but this thing is a giant. It's probably getting up there for my top antlers like ever since this last one that I found this year the giant one it's hard to beat but this guy's kind of like the opposite of that guy look at that he's got five yep five but he's got some tall skinny tines and we're gonna get a little pickup on him Holy crap, that's a good antler. Just like I said, tall skinny tines, and that's going to be one of my best antlers that I will probably ever find. I got a lot of years ahead of me, so we'll see if we can find some more, and maybe we can pick up his other side, but we're going to keep going and hope we pick up a few more today. Let's go. Alright guys, this is the end of week three, and it's been quite a struggle since the beginning of the year, because this winter has been really easy compared to the last two winters, so these deer are able to kind of shed their antlers wherever they want, instead of when there's a hard winter with a lot of snow, they want to be on southeasting slopes and next to pine trees and just to get out of the wind and the snow. But this year, since they're shedding all over the place, we're not able to find as many. But this is what we got for week three. We got two small guys, one with a good amount of potential, and then we got two sets right there, there. And those are both decently good antlers. Those have good growing to do for next year. And then we got our big guy right there. But overall this week was really good and we're hoping to get after it for week four but i hope you guys like the video and we'll see you on the next one see ya.